Howdy, and welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. So if you've forgotten since last time, uh, we are currently in a dumpster in the rain because we alerted long neck, uh, no husband ass teacher, and she chases through a vent with her extremely long uh, throat. So now we have escaped from her, and hopefully for, for good, uh, but this city has seen better days. I'm still not entirely sure where we are or what we're doing. So far, we've had a lot of questions and very little answers. Which, I mean, Little Nightmares 1 was um, kind of built on, actually. So we're just going to keep going. All right. We're just going to keep going and see what unfolds itself as we play. Um, there's a story that I wanted to tell another another person here that's just clothing that's no body in it something fucking have something weird happened for sure something fucked up happened here i'm not sure what yet but something very strange definitely fucking happened here um i'm thinking we got to push this uh i would probably have to pull with this uh bar here excuse me um okay yeah, there's a story I wanted to tell while we are in that school ground, because it reminded me um, of the school. I thought that possibly we um, uh, we were going to a cafeteria or something. And it reminded me of <laughs> when I was in uh, elementary school. I remember in the cafeteria, they would uh, require for us to be quiet during uh, our eating time in the cafeteria. And the reasoning they used to give us was so they could hear if somebody was choking. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen somebody choking, but typically it's a... Here, let me get closer to the mic so you can hear me choking. They don't make fucking noise. So I used to, as a kid, I mean, I was like, just like, man, I don't want to be quiet. I want to talk to my friends, you know, like not really understanding. But looking back on that as an adult, it's even more fucking stupid. You can't hear if somebody's like these little kids aren't fucking screaming at the top of their lungs. They're just talking amongst their friends. Like, I don't know. You could hear, like, if you were just in a room full of people just normally conversing, right? I don't think you'd have to... Oh, I need to push it in to close the lid. Sorry. I was telling my story and not really figured, realizing what we needed to do. Um, but yeah, so just thought I'd share that story. But the thing is, like, it, you know how fucking loud little kids are, right? So it's like, you'd be able to tell, like, if you have a bunch of kids talking at... Even if it's relatively high conversation, as far as, like, volume goes, if a little kid were to scream, like, as loud as they can, it would alert the lunch ladies, or the... I don't even know what their fucking titles were. Uh, annoying wench. Um, I actually liked most of them. They're, they're pretty nice, but... Um, this is definitely a hat. Hands off of my new hat. Oh god. He fucked me up, but can I have the hat? I cannot. Can I make a boat? I want to take this with me. I'm going to take this with me. Um, it's like some fucking it shit. I'm gonna run my little paper boat down the fucking trail. Or maybe down here? Is that what this actually is? It's supposed to be like an it reference? Oh, come on. Come on. Go on the fucking grate. Where the fuck is uh, Pennywise? Alright, we tried. Um, yeah, I don't know if... I think I finished that story. Anyway. If I didn't, sorry. I don't remember where I left off. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got to the end of it. But, um... Very stupid thing to not allow kids to talk during lunch. Um... So we're so this was six the whole time. Oh. 
we got an achievement during that. I think it was called True Colors, but I was too busy processing what... Oh. Okay. So this is a prequel to the first one. I guess we can confirm that now. Um... Okay. All right. Cool. How convenient there's just a nice bright yellow raincoat in this fucking sewer area, wherever the fuck we are. Um, I guess we're inside of a home. But just to, to finish up my um, thoughts on that, or my to wrap up that conversation, um, not allowing kids to talk during lunch break um, is kind of stupid if you look if you think about it, because it's gonna make them want to talk during class because they couldn't talk while they're on their free time so maybe just let the kids fucking talk um i guess one argument is like it's a choking hazard like if they're talking and trying to eat sure i get that but it's like i don't know anyway we're fucking with six we're with we're, we're hanging out with six this whole story this whole time we've been fucking following this kid we go and save them from the school it was fucking six if we never save six from the school this whole fucking game never happens this is fucking, this is crazy. This is crazy shit. Um, can I jump up here and ring that bell? Because I want to ring that bell. I need some customer service. Yes. Ring-a-ling-ding. Hello? Please. Yes. Okay. Boom. Boom. Now that's... See, look at this. You're telling me... Okay. You're telling me that they're going to take the time to animate a fucking desk bell on a desk? properly like i know it's not much animation but look how smooth that animation is okay and but then you're going to tell me that like how in the last episode when the fucking teacher was putting the pieces of the the, the body in that fucking x-ray fucking human body where they're like, shoving the heart in the armholes and just pulling shit out of nowhere it's like why why put detail into the animations of small things like this if you haven't already finished the animations for the main thing the player's gonna be looking at, you know? Am I nitpicking? Maybe, but come on. Uh, Six, you coming? Hey, bro. Um, I wasn't gonna say anything, but now that I know, like, you're kinda famous, bro. Like, you're gonna get into some shit. So, uh, when you become a god, you know? Um... Don't forget about me, okay? When you become the god of this place? Okay. So, it makes me wonder, because, um... If you think about the, uh... The first game, which is now a confirmed sequel to the second game, um... Six is alone. Um, they arrive alone in a suitcase. You see what I'm getting at here? Uh, what the fuck happened to me? <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna find out. I thought for sure that was gonna kill me, and that would've been really funny, because I'd be like, oh, that's what happened to me. Um, yeah, so I'm assuming at some point along this story, I'm going to get fucking clapped. They might even do something really cool where it's like the games where you play as one character and then that character you fucking dies and then you play as the character you were with the whole time, your companion. That's a really cool thing that happens sometimes in video games. Makes for a very powerful moment when it's like, oh yeah, me and homie have been running around doing whatever and now, oh, I died. Okay, now I'm going to play as homie that I've been with this whole time helping and now we're going to get revenge on yourself. It makes it a little bit more, uh, I don't know. More powerful, more... You're more connected to the character because you've been fucking playing as that character the whole time. That's basically you. You've been self-inserting yourself into that person's life, and now they're dead. And now you're playing as the other one. Achievement unlocked, schooled. <clears throat> Very nice. So, in the uh, DLC for the first game, right, um, I had it nice and organized and neat where it was like, uh, I'd finish a... one of the chapters of the DLC and then I would go, like, end the video. But I feel like I've been doing a very bad job of ending these episodes, like, right before they fucking end. So sorry for that. But um, I've been kind of, since it's kind of hard to tell when and how long uh, an episode or how long a level is going to be, um, it's probably a little bit uh, easier, for, for me at least, to just um, 
Is that a silhouette of a person down there? In a wheelchair? Maybe? Are we getting some like fucking grandma from Resident Evil 7 vibes out of you? Like are you gonna be like a main player later on? Sorry, I guess that's a spoiler for um You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a spoiler warning before I say that. Before I say that in editing, okay? So don't listen if you don't want that spoiled. Okay. And, 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 fuck it, whatever. I'll figure it out later. Um What was I saying? Yo, six, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about where I end videos. I just try to leave it at a suspenseful spot, you know, like a cliffhanger kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing that because I'm not gonna be able to tell when episodes are about to end. Oh my God. Good catch six. I guess the, both of us together have been equally saving each other's asses um, throughout this entire journey. And Six is just fucking going. They put on that raincoat and they are a fucking parkour demon now. Look at this shit. Um, okay, listen. I press jump. I promise you I press jump. I would never lie to you about pressing jump, okay? Make the jump this time. Jump. Grab. And there we go. Man, Little Nightmares loves playing with this fucking, like, surrealism. Just bed suspended. I'm not much of an intellectual, so I'm not sure if uh, this has a deeper intellectual meaning. I don't know if suspended beds has some kind of like metaphorical, uh, you know, any kind of analogy. Uh, I've seen these before. Okay, so we have a fuse that we can take in and out. I'm assuming there's going to be something uh, maybe down the road here that uh, we are going to need a fuse for. Yep, we are. Okay. Let me go grab that. Uh, put the fuse in the hole. Every time I play games that have horror elements to them, like every time I open a door, like I just immediately think like, oh, what if something fucked up happens? Hurry. Hurry, six. We gotta hurry. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Close call. Close shave. Um, you know, whenever I play a horror game, like I, I just assume that every door there's gonna be something on the other side of it. So that's why when something is on the other side of a door, um, you aren't scared. <gasps> a flashlight. Yes. Boom. Hello, Six. Oh god, I'm shining it right in my own eyes. Oh god, here we go. Here's the fucking... The eyeballs. Bro, what is this fucking universe? I'm holding hands with Six. Get, let go of my hand. You can fend for yourself. I've seen what you can do. I wonder if Six learns all of their combat skills from me. So this is pre-Six knowing what the fuck to do or how to fight. But then again, I don't know. You just saw how they parkoured. Um, oh god, is there gonna be like a fucking doctor enemy or something? I don't want to fight a doctor. Um, okay. Let's see. Now that they give me a flashlight, I feel like I need to check my corners for stuff. Like, point up to the right. What's on the board there? Nothing. What is that picture? The fucker? Oh god, I can't even shine my light on it. What is that? Oh god, it's a fucking- I see it- I see the fucking body now. Looks like an Outlast villain. What the hell? I guess it's not necessarily a villain. The characters in Outlast are just... Uh... Psychiatric ward. Uh... Prisoners. Not prisoners. Uh... Crazy people. Is that? There you go. For in, for layman's terms, just, just crazy people. They're not villains. They're just people with mental illness. <laughs> okay. Um, can I get like a fucking like bandaged up face or something as a hat? That'd be pretty cool. Alright. 
There's a light on here, so let's turn off ours. Conserve batteries. This feels a lot like Outlast, just like the like I don't know, just the whole vibe of it just feels like Outlast. Hmm. Can I get one of every flavor, please? Question is, is there purposes? I'm gonna keep pulling this until something happens. Aha! Hunger. I knew it. Is that getting? Oh, it's getting everything. Okay. Um. Oh, we just gotta use one to press a button. Hello. Can I grab a ticket number? What ticket number am I? Can't grab it. Damn. I'm hearing noises. Ah, yes. Great. A television that is screaming at us. Uh, do I need to go turn you off? Let me go try to turn you off. Shut up. Quiet down. The fuck is that little meat man over there? Okay. Right, here we go. We gotta do another corridor. Corridor crawl. Um. No, is that not right? That looks pretty straight. No. Shit. There it is. Okay. Back in the corridor. Come on. We gotta make it this time. Come on, slow motion. Go. Go. Make it to the door this time. Make it to the door. No. Again, Six pulling us out of the fucking fray. Thank you, Six. I don't know why my character keeps trying to go inside a fucking TV. It's like this is the ring or something. Um, yeah, also, I was gonna say something about the inhabitants here. Um, but I guess we're a little bit too hyper-focused on the TV that was making loud noises. Um, also, I guess I was referring to Six as bubonic before. before. Oh, that's funny, I can fucking shine it in their eyes. Hey! You've been drinking tonight, sir. Excuse me. Um, but yeah. I was calling, uh, Six, the main character of Little Nightmares 1, Bubonic. So that's pretty cool. I really don't want to go in an elevator yet when there's so much to explore on this floor. Um... But it appears this is just a one room area, potentially. This is a hook. A hook arm. <laughs> um, okay. Can I go inside any of these? Cannot see anything. Yes, there's nothing in there. Let me out. Okay. Um what's going on over here? A lever? A lever? A furnace? Okay. It appears there's nothing down here for us to grab. So, is that a hand? It's a fucking dummy's hand. That's one thing I've noticed is that there haven't been any real people. They've all been, like, puppets. And it, all the people that seem to be real people are just piles of clothing around the city. So there's definitely something fucky going on here. I'm not sure what exactly yet, but something definitely off about this place. Uh, okay. So there's a teddy bear somewhere with a key in it, I think. If I were a betting man. Any other diagrams here? Could I x-ray myself? Oh, I have bones! <gasps> we are human. <laughs> well, 
there you go. Uh, Six and I are both humans confirmed. There we have it. Um, ah oh yes, here is, oh god, there's multiples. And a monkey. Yeah, of course you grab the monkey six. That is kind of your thing. Um, we're throwing, we're having a fucking ball. Okay. Oh god. Shut the fuck up. Um, okay, what fucking drawings do we have on the wall again? We have another one of these fucking Heisenberg motherfuckers. So, I don't know who that is supposed to be, but I'm not looking forward to meeting them. Because that is the second time that we have seen that image now. Oh, there's a hat up here. Oh, it's like a fucking sack. Wait, it has ears, maybe. What is a fucking animatronic from Five Nights at Freddy's? Hold on. Oh. <gasps> We're going with it. Um, yeah, no, I don't know who that dark-faced hat man is. Um, but I'm going to just grab this one on the table and hope this is the one we need to incinerate. Oh, we can x-ray him beforehand. Okay, we're good. Come here, bear. You guys remember Build-A-Bear Workshop? Is that still a thing? I guess I can. Do I do them one at a time? I'll fuck. I'll do them one at a time. Wait. Why the fuck do you have a key in yours? Wait. What the fuck? There isn't even a symbol monkey on the wall. How did you know? Six. Are you cheating? Six. Six, how did you know there's a key in the monkey, huh? Oh, six. Anything inside of this guy? No. There's definitely a key inside of that monkey, though. But that's definitely a bear on the wall. And this one's a rabbit. So I don't think this one's gonna have it. There's no way that's a monkey x-ray on the wall. Yeah, this one has a key in it too. I don't know, bro. Six, you might be cheating, because there's definitely nothing on these walls about a fucking monkey. Bro, let's go incinerate these guys. Fucking cheater. Six has x-ray vision confirmed. That's crazy. That's crazy. Dude's been looking through my helmet at my real face this whole time. Without my consent. Um, okay. In you go. Oh, no, I don't want to be- wait, oh, wait. I can go in? What the fuck? Is that a hand? Oh, it's a puppet hand. Yeah, maybe I don't- Can I make him do it? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Yo, six, fuck it, just light it up. I don't want to live anymore. Six, just burn me alive, please. Toys are for kids. Wait, where did the other key go? Wait, what? Where did the other... Six? Six, explain yourself. Hold on, what was that achievement for? There will be much more... That's just for finding the key? Bro, wait. Was that there just to be like a dummy to if kids like couldn't figure out how to fucking do that puzzle? That is so weird. Why is that like that? Oh man, I hate that shit. I actually, I actually dislike that. Because I think that was put in there just for people who are that far behind the fucking standard bell curve. I'm never a fan of when games dumb down their gameplay to appeal to the casual player. 
I don't know. In my eyes, it's a fucking video game. Like, just play the fucking video game. It's not hard. It's really not difficult. Uh, but anyway, whatever. I'll leave my complaints for another day. Do we want to go on this side first or to the left first? Fuck, we'll go to this one first. Hello. Ah, oh, yes. The room of parts. Someone was Frankensteining fucking something in here. Were you making the perfect doll for fucking? I wonder. I don't see any parts for the pelvis anywhere. So I think that is your first mistake. Okay. Um, can I climb up on this fucking body and suplex it? No, okay. I was just kissing his toes. Okay, we're going. We're leaving. Hello. Ah, man, the more... Well, me, okay. I think our my final goal there is a little shit back there with two fuses missing. So I'm assuming the, the final goal is to find two fuses. So there's probably one on this side and one on the other side. So we'll be fine. Let's go in. Oh, you want to toss me up? Okay. Fuck it. I can also go down that way a bit, I think, but we'll do that later. Remind me, guys, in the comments. Remind me to go the other way. I'm starting to hear some sounds, and I just saw an autosave down there, so GG, guys. Are you gonna come to life? Why are you tied down? Uh, I'm just looking for a fuse. Um, can I push this out of the Yeah, I fucking knew it. Oh, your limbs move. Are you... Are you an assailant? Do you want to hurt me? Are you going to attack me if I jump on your chest? Okay, so... Someone's puppeteering these puppets. I guess that's the fucking point of a puppeteer. But, but for some reason these puppets are sentient. I guess we knew that from the children running around causing havoc in the school. But... Oh god, are you guys gonna hurt me? I hear you're scattering, but I don't know if you're a friend or a foe. You should probably assume foe, right? Yeah, fucking absolutely juked out of your shoes. Shit on bad. You're gonna jump again, aren't you? Hand crabs, hand crabs. Ah! Uh, go up, oh, go up, go up, go up. No! Oh god! It is a head crab from fucking Half Life. <laughs> Shit! Let's juke this fucker. Yeah, nice try. Up, 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 up. You can't jump that high. You're a hand. Oh, he can crawl up though. I didn't even think about that. Oh god. Run! Get away! Get away, you hand! <laughs> That's a corpse. I just fell on a corpse. Uh, okay, where do we go? Ah, you're not strong enough to push open the door. The, the great, you fucking idiot hand. You dumb fucking hand. What a stupid hand. Did you guys see that shit? What a dumb hand. Okay, he's smart. Don't fall through the fucking rafters. It's a good hand. Relax hand. Oh god, it's a hand. <laughs> uh, um... Can we get up in here, maybe? Oh god. I don't want to be down here with the hand. Wait, where'd the hand go? Wait, he went ahead. Why? Am I not the one you want, hand? Am I not good enough for you, hand? Why's the hand coming after me? I don't understand his, uh, purpose, or his... His, um... Wait. See, like, look at it. Now it's running away. Is it? Okay. Well, you want to fucking 1v1 me? Fine. Fuck it. Throw hands. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Literally throw hands. Oh, you bitch. No, drop. Uh, I'm gonna have to get the timing down on how long it takes to drop that fucking hammer, because sometimes it just doesn't want to drop it. Alright, fucker. Come on. Let's settle this like men. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, this is a multi-stage boss fight. If you're gonna want- if you want this fucking- Oh god, I'm not gonna have enough time to get another one off. Oh, you just spam it. That's the strategy. Can you guys fuck off? You don't even have any use for this fuse, you're just a hand. 
What are you gonna use a hand? What are you gonna use a fuse for, huh? Explain yourself. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. What does that achievement mean? We'll check here in a second. I'm gonna keep beating the fuck out of it. I don't trust his hand. It's a bad touch. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Just stay dead. Uh, and stay dead. Better be safe than sorry. So it's probably just for hitting it a couple extra times. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Grab the fuse. And hopefully have a quick and easy exit? Question mark? Um. Oh. Oh. I see. This is probably that door that was up the hallway instead of down the hallway. Um, can I throw the fuse through the glass and not break the fuse? <laughs> Stonks. Hello, Six. I am back. Wait, Six? Six in there eating another gnome. Hmm... Six. Wait, oh, child. Does he want that duck? Is that what he's pointing at there? Hold on. Hold on, we gotta get that duck. We get up there and get that duck? The dude is definitely pointing up at the duck. Can I find a way to get that? Kind of like jump on this box or something? I'm not seeing any way to get up to that duck. Maybe that was just a memory of a child that is perished whilst being imprisoned in this area. Okay, so that's definitely where I came in. So where the what the fuck is? Oh god, six! What are you doing? Six! What you doing? Six! Six! Hey! What are you doing? What were you- what were you doing to that hand, Six? Why are you breaking its fingers, <laughs> Six? Uh, maybe- mm, Maybe Six is a little bit, uh, fucked up. In the brain region. In the cranium. Cause we definitely saw this little fucker had a, uh, human skeleton underneath that skin, so, uh... You want to explain why you're breaking the fingers of a mannequin? That seems like a little bit of a sus behavior, but at least we can hold hands. Let me look. Your hand's kind of sweaty. Uh... Okay. So, there's a theme here. Okay. Real people no longer exist. Or at least, for the most part, real people do not exist. We have a single hunter living in a cabin with mannequins for family members sitting around the house. We have a teacher, okay? We have a teacher wanting students. There are no living students. There's just mannequin doll students. Now we're in a hospital with mannequin patients. Where did all the humans go? Where did all the living humans go? How come there's, there's two humans here and they're both little children? I'm here asking the important questions. I see my mistake now. I need to go grab that fuse and use it over here. Fuck. Alrighty. Door is open. What do we got here? What's on this side? What do we got here on these walls? These paintings? Just some miscellaneous shit. Okay. Is that corn? <gasps> Holy shit, it's a whole fucking, it's a whole husk of corn. Yo. You like corn? Fuck yeah, bro. I love corn. All right. Did I hear a jingling over here? What, what's in here? Ah, yes. The electric chair. Um... We need a fuse. Uh, can six, can you go get that for me? Uh, hmm. 
well, well, well. Let's go check the other way, maybe, for a fuse. Well, I mean, can we slip through the bars or something? No. Oh, we can go in through here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Am I gonna need to hold this open for six, maybe? Let's try that. Maybe I can hold this shit open for six to go in there. Or maybe I can tell six to... Well, hold on. We have the way to do it here. We just need six to get up in there now. Maybe I'm missing something. Let's go check over here first. Maybe I need to use that. Maybe I can pull that chair over or something. Um, do you want to pull me? Oh, do you want to throw me up through here? Aha, I see. Hi. I'm not a fan of that. Why are you acting like someone who's about to run at me? It's probably fine. It's twitching. It doesn't move in the light. Oh god, the light's broken. Oh, we're playing, we're playing this game. We're playing some fucking red light, green light. Is that what I'm seeing here? Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You think you're fucking slick, don't you? I, I'm not, yeah, you, you stay the fuck away from me. You get the fuck away from me. I have a, I'll fuck you. I'll, I'll throw that boot at you. Let's get, okay, so there's a light bulb on there, so. Yo, who are you, fucking astronaut, Jim? Or is that the top of a head with like a bandage around it? You have a fucking hook hand, though, so I'm not a fan. Oh, this area fucking sucks, cock. Um. Can we jump up and open this door? Can we get on this thing and jump over and open the handle? No. Okay. So we've got to be looking for something down this way. Um, ah, yes, a door that has been busted open, probably by a mannequin. Yeah. Yeah, okay, bro. You have hair. Why, why do you have hair? See, be like this guy. Be like this guy without hair. Oh, God. <laughs> nah, bruh. Okay, dude. Like, what the fuck am I playing right now? We're just gonna fucking run. I know your- I know your ways. Yeah, pussy. Yeah, pussy. I know what you're all about. Yo, this one's- oh my god, there's way too many. It's time to just run, I think. And make sure I get them all behind me. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We gotta get up in that fucking door. You better chill the fuck out there, red light, green light. Get me in. Yo, jump, bitch. Jump in the, f jump, you bitch. Why are you not... I need you to just jump in there. No, turn on the light again. Oh my god, I didn't mean to turn it off. Why the fuck wouldn't they jump up? Just jump up in the fucking- like, I had that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn- okay. So I'm gonna turn this flashlight off, and then I'm gonna run. 
for this. Get up. Come on, go, 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 go. Get the fuck over. Red Rover, Red Rover. Yeah, you fucking dumb bitch. Now you got a light on you. You feel stupid, don't you? Um, I remember when I was looking at other YouTubers who have played this, like there's like Jacksepticeye being the main one that I saw. Just because I was curious who all has played it. Um, and I noticed that Markiplier was not among the list of people who have played Little Nightmares 2. This part is probably why, because uh, if I remember correctly, he is not the biggest fan of mannequins. And, well, you know. Quite a few of those things here in this part of the level. Um, there's gonna be one in the vent, huh? Oh, don't be in the vent. You dumb, you better. Don't, just don't be in the fucking vent. God, I'm in someone's cell. Are they under their bed? Oh, God. Thankfully, I can shine the light through the bed. Yo. Mannequins can shit? Um. You know? Let's go ahead and uh, end the video off here for today. And we will uh, finish fighting off these mannequins in the next one. All right, look, I get it. The teacher area was bad, okay? I agree with you there. But uh, this might be worse. I think it adds an extra level of uh, horror uh, when you're playing it yourself because of how fucking wobbly. Like, I have to use my right stick to point a fucking flashlight in a, like, third-person perspective. It's it's very strange, like a, like a two-and-a-half-D perspective. It's it's not easy, and, like, the weird and hard uh, controls make it um, a lot scarier to deal with. But, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know the drill. And uh, until the next time, we'll be seeing you.